Three years ago today, I wasn't even enrolled into a school. I was working full-time at a factory. Um, I used to go to Ashland University. Um, it was a private school. It cost a lot for me, so I couldn't afford the school. So I had to leave the school, end up owning the money, own the school money. Um, I worked a year and a half just to pay them off by myself. So you know, as I was working there, I told myself, whatever school I go to, I'm going to finish my eligibility. You know, I chose Central State. I mean, it couldn't have been a better choice for me. My role in team this year is um, more so the blocking tight end instead of the receiving tight end. And, um, with this role, I'm pretty much used to it. Um, I had the same exact role in high school, coming from uh, Columbus Northland in Columbus, Ohio. Um, we were more so a running team, so I was doing a lot of blocking, not too much route running. Uh, you know, I enjoyed that role, got used to it. Once I got to Central State, definitely was comfortable with that role. It takes a lot of patience, you know. You, a lot of people on offense want to get that glory to get the, you know, get a pass, you know, or a touchdown. So it comes with a lot of patience because, you know, you never know when that time comes when you might get a pass. So for me, uh, it was week four when we were in Indianapolis playing Kentucky State. Ran on for a route, wide open, caught a pass. You know, my coaches always say, stay ready, even though primary here to block, be that, basically that extra lineman, you know, do the dirty work. A lot of people that have been involved in the program, especially alumni, um, uh, they talked about how it's been a while since, you know, we won a homecoming game, so winning that, not just for us, but for the alumni, so they can enjoy the homecoming, as well as us, it was great, you know, and it was our first win, you know, this season, so we were hungry to get that win, and, you know, the school appreciated it, we appreciated it, you know, we celebrated with the school. We enjoyed it. Um, what I enjoy most is uh, the brotherhood. You know, I love my teammates like my brothers. Um, I see them more than my family, so they're considered family. When I leave Central, we'll always be connected. My mother and father, they are both from Haiti, uh, born and raised. Um, my mother was a month pregnant with me when my mom and dad left Haiti. 85% of my family is still in Haiti. Um, I just have some brothers and sisters in the U.S., um, an uncle and an aunt in Florida. Other than that, they're all still in Haiti. I'm always concerned about my family, you know, even though I don't get to see them that much. Um, you know, it was always important to, you know, for them to be okay. Um, my mom and dad, they send money to them all the time since they've been in the U.S. Um, I remember back in 2010, um, a hurricane hit, well, an earthquake hit, and, you know, it devastated a lot of the country. Um, I had sisters on my dad's side of the family. They were in school when it happened. Um, one of them got hurt, but she she came out of school all right. Um, the ceiling fell, you know, landed on her leg. But you know, as far as that goes, nobody was seriously hurt. Um, I previously talked to my mom and dad. Everybody in our family is pretty much okay. Nobody was devastated um, this year. Um, coming to Central State, since I've been here, I've been representing the country. Um, you know. Play uh, gives me a chip on my shoulder, um, a lot of motivation, you know, because I don't want to just play for me, be selfish, you know. I play for my family in Columbus, my friends in Columbus, but also for my people in Haiti. So, you know, it's always bittersweet when, you know, I'm doing the best I can, working hard every day, you know, making those sacrifices, because I know they're making sacrifices as well. You know, I'm the first in my family to play this sport of football, so you know, it's definitely big for me. Um, I'm leaving a legacy, you know. I have nephews that also want to play football too, so it's a great feeling. It's, you know, keep keep distractions away from you know. If you have something, if you have a goal, make sure you set that goal. You reach that goal no matter what, because you never know how far you can get. You know, when I first started school, I had a goal. You know, didn't know I was gonna go through all the obstacles that I went through, but one thing I kept in mind is to you know never fold. And, you know, um, for me. I have a lot of friends back at home in Columbus. They've played football since they were like three. Once high school was done, they were done. So, you know, they all say, oh, I should've, could've, would've. You never want to be out of a situation saying, oh, I should've, could've, would've. You want to be the person to say, oh, I did it. Um, that should be the motivation for an underclassman coming to Central State.